Oh, oh hello hey. everyone from Mario 3 World. What uh, world is this? And also uh, from a new OBS version. This is... Uh, Six. This isn't Big World, is it? This is no. World 3, I think. For some reason, I think it's World 3. I don't, I don't remember. Is that 5? What 5 world, is what? the clouds. I can't remember which world this is anymore, you guys. That's how bad I am at Mario We're gonna 3. find out. Also, I knocked the camera, so the camera might be a little off. <laughs> um, so today, we're gonna be playing some more uh, Super Mario Collection, which is the Japanese version of Super Mario All-Stars. Um, we're kind of going through it just because we're working on the Mario book and to reacquaint ourselves with the games. As you can tell, I don't even remember Mario 3 much anymore. And, uh, is I've this been... Giant Land? Yeah, I, I thought so, but then the nothing seemed giant, so I was like, no, that can't be right. Mm. Um, shoot. Oh, also, we're going to be testing my sidebar stuff, so uh, my custom emulator has a custom sidebar thingy you'll see in a second, and every day I'm like uh, improving it, and today I did a pretty big improvement I've been meaning to make. And so we're gonna use that to test stuff out. So, doop doop doop. I'm sleepy. I did a lot of work today. All right, so here um. we go. So the deal is, um, before, tell, tell me if you can hear everything. Um, can you hear us even? Can you hear us? Yeah, they should be able to. They were answering you about world. Okay, yeah, that's true. All right, so. Um, before I have the game was able, you know, the game is able to update the thing on the side here. Oh, wait, let me bring it's it up. It's not up. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the game is able to update Whoa. the thing on the side here. And, you know, that's sort of been the premise this entire time with testing it. Our I've, death count is gone. Oh, I need to, I can reset that. Um, do you remember what we stopped at, 42? Don't remember. Do you guys remember what we stopped at? 43 sounds right. Um, but I never was able to make this stuff affect the game. And so I finally uh, did that today. So to test it out, uh, if you follow us, if we get any followers, it'll give us three extra lives in, a, in whatever game we're playing. You play Mario so, 1? Um, well, you want to play a little Mario 1? I want to play a little Mario 2. Uh, the hard one? Yeah. Japan? That's why we need them lives. All right. Let me try. Actually, wait, I need to reset it. So let's uh, end. Oh, we got we got a different controller. Yeah, it's the, well, we're using the actual Super Famicom controller now. It's less squeaky. So it's my turn. So do you want me to reset the counter? I can do that really quick. Yeah. All right. Boop. Um. Oh wait, it's still over here. So do you guys remember what number it was? So you just want to put forty. Forty-three sounds right. Kate. Let me bring up the chat here. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of uh, Japanese too. We're in World Six of the uh, Super Mario USA, so we're probably gonna try to finish that today. So go ahead, pull. Super Mario Brothers Two for Super Players. Did it look <laughs> like that before? Uh, I don't remember. I'm playing as Luigi. Well, I didn't test it with Luigi, so let's see how things work. Oh. Wow. It's possible that it won't do the death counter with him. Really? It's possible. Well, let me try. Let's just walk into something, I guess. Okay, oh. good. Okay. Guys, quick, follow us. I just died. Yeah, the uh, the Twitch API is real slow. It's, it's kind of behind the time. And then there's also, you know, our Twitch delay. So if we get any follows, it won't be immediate. <laughs> Uh oh. You should you should totally get that. No. <laughs> Look how he squats. So he, does he come? How does he control? Um. He doesn't do his weird, uh, like, bicycle kick. No. Thank goodness. So I wonder why Luigi can jump higher. He's is there something like the near like a beam pole? Oh, okay. He was just a pallet swap originally. Yeah. So does the follow thing do the actual one up effect or does it increase the number? Um, it doesn't do the effect, it increases the number, but it also does something on the side there. I've not seen it, so I don't know what happens. Yeah. 
This is assuming that's gonna work. Did the stream stop for someone? This is still squeaky. Yeah, it's not as bad though. Luigi's more aerodynamic. That's why he turns into a rocket. Oh, that was so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he does that. So since the client says, I remember as a kid saying to my friend that I wouldn't collect the first mushroom in a new Mario game because I, they might make it a trap. Four years later, I finally played this and wondered if I was psychic or just weird. <laughs> I went above the flag. Also, the stream suddenly stopping about five minutes in is normal. It's just Twitch being Twitch. That's right. I think like if we become like one of the top couple hundred streamers, then we get uh, quality options or something. And so it kind of Gil messes people up. Bump. Oh my god. Ooh, so it's this good thing was you on the Famicom disk system, yes. right? Yes. Well, we, 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 we all know, remember? Yeah. Oh, thanks for following Kevin Chai. Let's see, <laughs> let's see if it works. Or actually, it probably won't work there if you unfollowed us and refollow us. I thought you said it would. It, it might, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna guess not. Like if you follow, wait a while, and then follow again, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Unfollow, wait a while. Luigi. Oh, you're cheating. Luchidi. Luchidi! Uh oh. And that trick where you can hold the button and ice skate doesn't work, sadly. I don't remember that. It was oh. from the original game. Okay, we got people unfollowing <laughs> for a while. It doesn't have to be that long, maybe like a, a minute or two. Um, what? There's a blooper yeah, in the sky. Yeah, I think they started using ideas from like the glitch levels. Look, they're trees! Are they? Aren't they? They still look like just weird cliffs. I guess so. I mean, they do look kind of tree-ish. Hey, what are you doing? I like how they're purple. Oh. Or pink, kind of not purple. Oops. Okay, your turn. We'll do the death handoff. Oh no. <clears throat> I don't really know this game very well. <laughs> Me neither. Oh! I'm gonna make some jerky out of him. Quick I wanna, I wanna test trouble. something. Let me test something. Meadow? That death doesn't yeah, count. Okay, here I'll do this. Get that one up. Okay, it works. Whoa! Didn't didn't count in my game. <laughs> Mero, I've lost it. <laughs> Want me to do it? No! <laughs> continue. Um, that's don't save and continue. That's save and continue. Alright, good. I got my lives back. We're all good. Yeah, since it starts you right at that stage that you, you lose at, it's not so bad. Unless there's like unlimited number of continues. Oh, where's my water? Why does Luigi like bounce so high when he bounces off of turtles? Oh, I was wondering what that was. You had died. So the follow thing won't work if like you unfollow and refollow immediately. We got people testing it. Uh, thanks for following it, Amethyst Frost. <laughs> we'll see if it shows up on the side there. Oh wait, you died! Oh, you gotta say. Thanks for following. Look light. Look light. <laughs> ah, let's just get out of the stage. Okay. Let's beat the stage. <laughs> you can do the castle. 
All right. Oh man. Oh. Here we go. Five Someone follow followed up. us. Yep. And if we die. <laughs> Does it work? Check it out. Yep. Yep. It just takes a while. <laughs> And also, it depends on, like, uh, you know, you can't do it immediately. I'm glad it's working, though. I didn't, I wasn't able to test it against my channel, so I was doing it with, like, lyrics and a couple others. Whoa. You should always test it follows uh, with the Happy Hob. He always gets follows. Yeah, I was just going for, like, those top streamers at the time. But I like the Happy Hob. Oh. <laughs> I had to go down there. My mom was calling for me. Okay. Oh. Uh oh, there's a cat in the room. What's she doing? She's smelling games. Yeah, she's smelling my old Spanish textbook. Oh, that's not a game. She's learning. All right, Poe. Strange pomato trend of losses and followers during streams with it rising back up after a bit. <laughs> yeah, I bet the people at Twitch are like, man, they must have said some really crappy stuff. What? No, it didn't count. It's slippery, I swear. It is, yeah. I mean, one, he doesn't control like Mario. Oh, man, and that's also, why I'm also, <laughs> it's, di ah! it's different from uh, Mario USA. I like how they vanish. Do they? Yeah, I have to get, get them to the edge. Oop. Get out of here. Oh. <gasps> it's a weird looking fire. That's distracting! <laughs> it's okay. You, you, made that, you made lives from it. <laughs> Mr. Scootman says, one of these days, I'll beat this game. I beat it a few times, and I had a lot of fun each time, even though it was, like, frustrating. Lost levels you beat. Yeah. Oh, I was doing really good there. I'll give you another go. Who followed? I don't think anything That's does that look like. Might have been Bahamut 920. The Thanks thing, The phone. things run on different systems, so. Yeah. They, they don't connect. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for following, Dominator. All right, you've given up. This is why we need lives. <laughs> <laughs> we need your follows. Please donate your We're lives. We're back down six. Okay. I've learned with Luigi, don't hit the B button. Don't hold down the B button. Just go for it. <gasps> Boom! Should I up it to five or something? <laughs> <laughs> For this game's particular. I had it at five originally, and I was like, "No, we're not going to be that bad. We're not going to need. We're not, not going to need <laughs> Big Bear's Cave." <laughs> what was that? Big Bear's Cave. Was that Peach? Yeah, I don't even remember hearing that before. Shoot. We got the Mario follow sounds going. <gasps> You're doing it. Do what the wizard would do. Anyway. Trick Bowser. Run! Oh, you did it. Yes! <laughs> it said, it said it five. It still said five follow-up. Oops. It might be at five. I don't remember. <laughs> Ooh, it's nighttime. What did Japan think of this version of their Mario 2? I don't know. Good question. It's really pretty. Hello, Japan. Hello, Japan. Pick up the phone. Ring, ring tactics. That's always uh, like a worry I have is that people will. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> uh, people will kind of think that. Um, 
Japan is like one minded, you know, thing. So whenever I do those articles, I'm like, oh man. Well, you always have that disclaimer, like, I only looked at some. Yeah. This is not all of Japan. Wonder! Stop making noises over there. Wonder! Oh, we got uh, follow ups. It said five there. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't. I don't remember how many lives we had. Like five-ish? Won that big star again. Yeah! It's so funny. Mm. <laughs> He's just jumping backwards. <laughs> Gosh, this game. Did I tell the story of what I used to think? Whoa. What the crap? Luigi, where are you? I think that's normal. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what I used to think uh, the lost levels were? Did I tell that on the stream? Uh, you might have, but I already forgot. Oh. What were they? Um, oh, it was like... Well... Yeah. I didn't know this was Japan's Mario 2. I just thought they were like... Mario 1 like just had a bunch of levels and Left then over. somebody found them. <laughs> cool. Like, yeah, let's put them in this game. No wonder is sniffing the Super NES. Gotta smell the Super Nintendo. It's got that old, old school smell. Man, that is still the Super Nintendo that my uncle gave us. It is? Yeah. The one that's our doorstop? <laughs> the one that's our doorstop. It's the one with the uh, candle wax on it, right? Yeah. Then yeah, that's my old one. Um, That's the one I first played Zelda on and like all my Super Nintendo games. Thanks for following again, Sins of Science. We got a pop up there. That's because you've got 100 coins. Oh. All right. I'm going to trust that it'll do the same thing. <laughs> I just disappeared. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh oh. No! Boom. I don't know why it would say five, but then not add five. <laughs> My uncle so from strange. Nintendo. <laughs> so is that number correct? That seems correct ish, right? 15? Hmm. New uh, New Antoine says maybe read uh, interviews, maybe interview some Japanese retro game players. Uh, they always read what Europe and America experiences with classic systems, but never from a Japanese perspective. And yeah, there's so many different directions you can uh, look at these retro games. That's what we're gonna try to do with the Mario book. So when does the wind when does the wind levels kick in? Are there wind levels? Yep. Okay. Now, Game Pro TV. I remember that uh, very barely. I remember it was something they had like a lot of Battletoads coverage or something. Game Pro used to have a TV. A TV show for a very short time in like the hmm. early '90s, I think. Really, Game Pro like the magazine? Yeah, I think so. And then you know, I had like the annoying host, sort of like TV video game show personality <laughs> host. <laughs> oh my God, Luigi! Nintendo engineers frantically dig through boxes looking for the lost levels. <laughs> you know what? The way they designed everything on paper at first, maybe... Maybe there are a bunch of levels that got scrapped. Huh, yeah. They should make them in Mario Maker. I didn't know about those. I, or at the time, I didn't know that <laughs> Miyamoto th drew the levels on paper. You think after a while, they're like, Oh, this is a pain. Let's just use this editor that we made finally. No. Is that why these levels are so hard? <gasps> I was worried. I was hoping that wasn't going to happen. So keep your eyes on Game Center CX this week. Oh, Wonder wants to play. Keep your eyes on Game Center CX. Something is going to be announced. We've already told you guys what it is. <laughs> But it's going to be on their show. Yeah, we're going to have Legends of Localization French Fries. Yeah! And they're in the shape of the logo. I don't know how they stick together, though. Oh, 
I don't really know how to do this part. Um, like that? Yeah. We need some follows or we're gonna have to game over. <laughs> Not like it's a big deal though. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Yes. No, yes. This game changes emotions so quickly. Oh no! You dying. There you go. How am I supposed to get past this? I think there's some uh, coins. Oh. Wonder, stop that. She's playing with pens on the table now. Wonder. So, uh, Mario hack-wise, like of Mario 1 or Mario All-Stars, what is the best, what are the best hacks that aren't ultra challenge hacks? They're more like, they could have been legit levels. Those are the ones that really interest me. I'd like to try those sometime. Yeah, there it is. Oh! I seem to recall this was in the Game Center CX. What are you doing? I don't know. Go to, she's staring at me. Go to sleep. Now she's looking at me. Now she wants me to play. No! You, you didn't do the trick. You're supposed to pause it before you die. That way you don't die. <laughs> Look, we've already died almost like half as many times. <laughs> I mean, once we get tired of dying, we can go to back to our regular two. I really enjoy these levels, though. They were a nice challenge, I remember. Then they did those secret levels. Oh, didn't they put these levels also in um, the DX version for Game Boy Color? Where was it? Did they? Um, over to that side, just a little bit. Get home. A dark a guy named Dark Data did some holiday Super Mario Bros. Three hacks. They're short but fun. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I've been trying to avoid Mario Three hacks just because you know we're focusing mostly on Mario One in the book, but just for my own. Entertainment, I want to try one some a bunch sometime. Whoa! Oh, that's some tricks. Nice! Oh, Whoa! I don't want to do that. <laughs> Wonder, calm down. She's excited after she saw that bug. What are you doing? <laughs> She's gonna attack that light at some point. Wonder, stop! Oh my god. <laughs> Come play food games with me. Stop playing video games. Play my video games. So she's uh, addicted to this new game that we've been playing for a while. It's where we just throw the food or we just kick the food across the kitchen. <laughs> she, and she catches it. it and, and now I'm able to like toss food in the air and she'll catch it in her mouth. <laughs> hey, stop that. <laughs> she really wants to play her food game. We should give it a name. I like food game. Food game. F food ball. I oh. used to call it like video game. You got some extra lives, Poe. Hell yeah, thank you. I wonder how many we got though. Oh, I can't go back. Is it five or three? Um. My programming is confusing me. It should be. Whatever, you... whatever it says there, it should be it. Okay. Well, I guess it's five. Cheap cheeps, you better stay on your turf. Leave me alone. Why do you think they allowed Luigi to have his own game and you didn't switch back and forth like Mario game or Luigi game you had to pick? I don't know, it's a good question. Here you go. Do you get a special ending if you get both of them done? Hmm. Oh, I forget what the rules are for getting the fireworks on this. We have 14 now. Hmm. Were we at 9 before? I can't remember. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, the the gray ones. Those are spooky. Yeah, they're rotten. Run and jump. <laughs> there's, there's a mushroom there, you guys. Oh, <gasps> tricks! Oh, that burned your nose hairs off. Yeah! 
That's what nice he gets. going. Well, didn't they play this? <laughs> She's just staring at me from behind the monitor. Um, on uh, no, that was the NES remix where he he played against the children. Yes, was it? Three one. Oh, it's snowy! I love it. It's not slidey either. Oh, I don't <laughs> love it. <laughs> Get out of here! Why they gotta start off with the Hammer Brothers? Yeah, well, I'm curious about the level designers for this it's game. Gonna... Who designed this? Was it the same team? I need mushroom, please. Ah! <laughs> well, at least you made it. Oh, what a trick! I'm not going down there. Are you crazy? There's probably something in that one. Probably. Don't care. Can't do a spin jump, though. I want to live. Here's the original bullet hell. Yep. It's not even coming out to say hello. There we go. Uh, they're not affected by turtles. Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm spooked! <gasps> that shouldn't have worked! <laughs> No! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> well, this is the wind level, I think. Oh! Oh, oh it's not. Luigi! <laughs> you can probably go over and there'll probably be something over there. Not chancing it. Yeah, there's a level 1-1 one, one right, at, right at the beginning. There's like the infinite live trick or whatever. Okay, 14 lives. Remember that. 1-4. Got it. Wow. Just like Evo. Hmm. Yeah. Hello, Onicha. Good evening. We are dying. <laughs> oh no! So I'll probably just leave this follow thing on as we play through the game, you know, over the next few days or weeks or however long it takes us. Okay. Hey, Wonder. Should we, should we have it affect uh, Mario RPG somehow? Oh no, Mario RPG I want to do, you know, a legit oh, okay. playthrough where, uh, you know, we look at all the texts and things. It'd be like a live book or version or something. Oh, so yeah, so Mario RPG is in the near future. Right now, I've got a lot of the stuff ready, already finished. I want to get a couple other last things like battle messages, maybe some menu stuff. I got, <laughs> got dialogue and enemies and battle stuff. This is the only Mario game where you can do the infinite lives trick and still run out. <laughs> oh, I made it halfway. Can I go up here? Darn it. So while doing my hacking for Mario RPG, I uh, sorry, I learned or I. I've, Learned things I had forgotten, like apparently there's a Yoshi's cookie item, and it turns enemies into other items. I had no recollection of that. I probably never even used it. One follow equals one frog coin in Mario RPG. Can't even remember what those do. I didn't know there were frog coins. That's how much I know about Mario RPG. I'm about to learn a lot. I think you'll like it. It's... Whoa! <laughs> Um, that's when they introduced new things to Mario. It wasn't always the same things over and over. Boo! Oh. Oh, okay. Did you play Yoshi's cookie? So the Yoshi cookie item is pretty weird. It's hard to get outside of the minigame that awards it. Anyone here know what the name Sahasrala means? Does it mean anything? Maybe? Uh, Oops. No, I'm not that I'm aware of. There might be some, like, inspiration behind it, but I, I'm not aware of it. Whoa, guys. Whoa. 
I know you're fans of mine, but you gotta stay away from me, okay? I should call Miyamoto and find out. It's the year of Luigi over here. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> the year of Luigi never ended for me. So was I looking for an, a bite that was like, if hit by cookie, turned into this item? It was more like I was looking at enemy stats, and uh, it was already documented on some other sites. I was like, what is this Yoshi's cookie item it keeps talking about? Why does it turn enemies into items? And apparently it's a thing. Don't trust it. Whew. Dominator 101 is back and says have some lives. Woohoo! We'll find out. We'll find out if we have lives. Yep. Thanks for the lives, Dominator. <laughs> oh, I haven't been So we had like 11 or 10 around there. All right. Now we have 14. Okay. So that's gotta be five. It's hard to say. Like, okay. Um, Can you check your? I can't. I can't do it live. Oh. Like, if someone could do it right away. Okay. So Hasrila might relate to the seventh chakra. All right. No, I, that was on purpose. Okay, so we're at thirteen. Mm -hmm. So if someone follows us now, if we can get it to happen, what was it again? I already forgot. Thirteen. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna wait here. Hopefully, someone will make it happen. I don't think so. Maybe your time's gonna run out. <laughs> here, you play while I keep track. One, three. Until we get another follow. It's up to you. Alright. So keep track. We're about to get another one. Meow, meow, meow. Still at one, three. One, three. The seventh chevron. I'm wearing my Stargate necklace today. Oh, there's your reference. <laughs> One three. Oh. <laughs> what was that? It's a maze level. Oh. Ooh. Alright, so we're at twelve. <laughs> Twelve. One, two. <laughs> I thought you were headed for lava. Uh, hmm. Alright. Five. Maybe so, we were at twelve. Alright, so we should have seventeen, and so if I die we'll have sixteen. Now we're at 1-1, one, one, and we'll see how many lives we got. Okay, so it is 5. It is 5. It took I, us I was just lazy, and I... An hour. We should update, uh... We should update the okay. title. Not yeah. like not like it matters much. I shall. Alright, so thanks for those lives. Oh, man. I didn't like that. You can go ahead and play until this level is over. I don't like maze levels. Okay, updated. Yeah, it's a good thing I did five after all, or we'd be long dead. Ugh, I need to start over on that level. So do you think by the end, by the time we ever finish this entire, all three, four games, which one will have the most deaths? Mario 2. You think so? Mm-hmm. This one. <laughs> Even though there's like way more Mario 3 levels? Yep. You didn't go to the very top, did you? I guess you can't yet. Alright, now what do I do? Very top. I did that before and then I forget which way mm. I took. Should I go even topper? Yeah, even topper. What? Ah. Uh, what are our top three SNES games? Oh, it's hard to say. Zelda. I have a list on my desktop here of all the Super NES games I've played. I reference it a lot when uh, writing stuff. Um, I should look it over and then get back to you. Zelda. That's it. Donkey Kong Country 2? So you... What? Okay. No 
fear. All right, so that's the trick. That's a bad trick. I had what? The, how do they know what you're doing? It's the government. <laughs> There's a power-up hidden right after the one wide block, one block wide lava pit. Okay. Speed run for Super Mario Bros. 3, all levels, one hour, ten minutes. Whoa. Uh, oh, of course, Shaq Fu. I am not playing smart today. We need all the lives. Do you want me to play? Uh, I'm, I will uh, I don't like mazes. Yeah. I just need to not be a stupid player. There's a power up here somewhere? Is it like here? I don't want to go there and mess up the thing. Oh, okay. I guess I could. <gasps> yeah! Oh, Earth Phone. <laughs> no, that's like the first thing that came to mind, but I don't know. Like, uh, it's not my f favorite game or anything like that. Forgot about Earth Phone. Oh, God. Thinking middle. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh <laughs> no! Funky Fantasy 4. That is a good one. Yeah, Final Fantasy 4 is up there. Now nah, we'll get it, Dominator. I mean, we beat Tengai Makyo. We beat the Saturn. <sighs> we can beat this. You can't cheat with the Saturn. Alex Bruce says try the top because it's the hardest to get to. Up here? Yeah. Uh, maybe that one. The up there. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I thought they were going to prevent you from getting up there at all. Yes. Hmm. Don't you make me go down there. Run! Yes! Ha, <laughs> he's in a little bag. Aww. There's three of them. They're cuties and they're wearing diapers. Yeah, oh, Super best. Metroid. Super Metroid's real high up there. Man, it's, it's hard to choose three, three best Super NES games. I really like Super Metroid, but I didn't grow up with it, so I don't have... <gasps> You gave me a Lucky 2 level! Yeah, Super Metroid, I don't think I could really ever stream because um, people are such crazy awesome experts at it, and uh, I'm only mediocre and I haven't I don't played it in like 10 years. We're playing this. <laughs> We're pretty bad. Nice. Give me that. Oh no. You got it, it's fine. These things are weird. Huh. Told you. Oh. How? <laughs> I suck at those. How? It's such an intuitive feeling. I don't know. Some days in my life, I can get them every time. And then the rest of the days, I'm like tone deaf, but with oh, springs, Jesus. spring deaf. No! I guess give it to me when it's springtime. Oh my god. That's a different spring! Yeah, it's a different color, isn't it? So you just have to run and jump on that one. Crap. Here. Oh. <laughs> Why am I facing that way? That's weird. I guess you did get it. Ah. Uh. 
Are we switching again? <laughs> okay. That is a lame spring. You gotta get a running start. Run from the top of the question blocks. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah! yeah. I'm still, like, a little traumatized from that maze that we just did, so I'm like, I can't go this way, I can't go that way. Yes! Fire lock you two out of the sky! Whoa. Mano, I felt your body movements, like you were going in the direction <laughs> that you were trying to jump. That's a weird... A weird phenomenon. I don't know if I'm actually moving in that direction. It's more like I'm moving my arm like more adrenaline-y. Oh. <laughs> Go to the library. When um I play games where you can manipulate the camera, I usually mm -hmm. like yeah, turn me too. <laughs> my head to see if I can see better. Yeah. I still see that thing as a skull. It's the same skull that is like... It's not a skull. Is it not? I thought it was. I thought it was supposed to be a peace sign or something. Oh, crap. <laughs> Poor felt Mato's body movement. <laughs> well, that means you're alive. Yep. So all's good. That's right! Give me that! Screw that! The spring on a screw. Screw these! That's right. You go away. Dominator says, pull everyone those leaning works. <laughs> I want in there. I know there's goodies in here. Oh! Oh my god. <sighs> you can play again if you want. No. Oh. <laughs> We're running out of lives. We gotta switch. We're already caught up to our deaths in Mario oh, USA. No. <laughs> All right, screw that. Screw all the mushrooms. What the heck? <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. This rendition of the song sounds kind of tropical. Yeah. I think it was one of the first times it really started to get a tropical theme in the Mario series. I think it mm. was also in Mario Kart a little bit. Was it? I know it was especially in Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Just in case. Onicha has questions about oh, the that? sidebar. What am I watching on the left side of the game? How did that pretty star animation get triggered as soon as you grab the star? Is this made those coding work? It is indeed. We're playing a custom version of SNES 9X that I'm working on. Um, it's hard to explain quickly, but basically what you see over there is HTML. Here, I'll, you can see it's HTML. I can click stuff on there if I wanted. Um, so I have like the emulator, the ROM is able to talk to the HTML, and the HTML as of today is able to talk to the ROM, and all of it can also be controlled by Lua Script, so you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. And I'm, I'm slowly developing this thing on the, on the side um, for you know uh, ordinary people to use, people who aren't like great programmers or anything. And there's all kinds of cool ideas that you can uh, implement with it, so I'm trying to think of a bunch and then uh, test them out on the stream. And so what I have right now is just like um, some very basic stuff going on. Like if you if there's a follow, someone follows us today, we'll get like five extra lives. That's a little test I have going on. There's some <laughs> other stuff too. So like the star animation is another thing. I detect when the star is, is active, and it works for all. I had to, I did I had to do it for each game. I'm having a hard time, but it's got springs, so I'm not going to make you play. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm also I'm working on a Mario RPG thing. So as we're playing uh, the English version of the game, the Japanese script will show up on the left. With uh, and then we'll have like uh, the Rikai Chan stuff. So um, even if you don't know Japanese, you can like point at words and learn definitions. No, that was pretty cool. <laughs> 
And I'm, uh, it's going to display the scripts. It's going to display like enemy stats. It's going to oh, I'm supposed to jump on that. Um, like enemy enemy names, a bunch of other things. So this is the first one we have to jump off of the turtle. Okay. They make you do it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those turtle jumps, man. That one, that one hat. Whoa. That's oh. right. You almost said something. No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> she turns into a dragon when she plays. <laughs> oh, we died. <laughs> So I'm considering uh, getting the, was it the Sharp X1 version of Super Mario Brothers sometime? It's a little bit better than the PC-88 <laughs> one. But it's, it seems to be harder to buy. Why wasn't that the checkpoints? <laughs> so Amethyst Frost says, oh, this is a lot more lenient than the Famicom version. Oh no! <laughs> so they, I remember like um, for the Nintendo's 25th, oh it was Mario's 25th anniversary, they released that special red Wii, remember that? And it came, yeah. with, and it came with like the Mario All-Stars on it? Yeah. Um, was that version different in any way? Or was it basically just the ROM they threw onto a Wii? <gasps> it went too far. You wanna try this level? No, you can do it. Okay. I have faith. Hallowed are the Ori. <laughs> it's my other Stargate reference. The Ori are stupid. The Wraith are stupid. What about it, Koopas? It should have ended after season seven. It should have just stopped. Yeah, we have that uh, Famicom Basic keyboard thing. We should try that out. We bought it, and they said it was junk, but. Should, should test it anyway. Oh yeah, look like the guy who replaced Colonel O'Neill is he the same guy from Star Fo uh, yeah. Star Fox Far Farscape? Because <laughs> I know that girl was, and she's gone now. Thank God, she was annoying. No. Uh. Does Nintendo have their own in-house solution for emulation, like for virtual console stuff? I'm not sure, but I do know that uh, Frank Stefaldi gave a talk about how the, the ROMs that they use apparently use the sort of unofficial format that emulator fans created from scratch. Huh. So it's not like their own their own system. They might have just downloaded the ROMs from some site. I'm not getting that power up. It's not worth my life. Yes. Oh no. Crap. I no, I freaked out. <laughs> I don't remember 100%, but the the GBA uh, NES classics, you know, those like where they released ooh, Zelda. Ooh, checkpoint. I think those might have used um, an op open source emulator. I can't remember. Oh no. Oh, I bet I wanted to be up there. Yeah. Can I get up there? There's probably a... Turtle! Turtle's gotta come... Bullets! <laughs> Perfect. Too high, I think. Yeah, a little too high. Perfect. Crap. Oh. Too low. You can make that. I can get that one. I mean, you can make that jump. There's a land over here. Really? All right. Oh. <laughs> but can oh. I make this? Crap. You can make it. It'll be hard. Crap. Look, Light says he doesn't know Farscape, so we're going to have to look that up ourselves. Yes. <laughs> Alright, 
Here we go. Needle's turn. Good old castles. Oh, this. Oh no, the long one. What if you saw a mushroom and it had the look of a Goomba? Like somebody bred... Oh my god. Like somebody bred mushrooms and over the generations it finally turned yeah. into a Goomba. <laughs> you could do it. You could spend your whole life making a Goomba. You know, they're supposed to be like chestnuts. It can be these white Goombas too. Oh, uh, okay. I gotta stop goofing around with those okay. guys. Hey. Somebody follow us. Hurry. Quick, you got a couple seconds? Aw, <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> you wanna keep going? You have to conquer this one. I had to conquer the last one. Conquers for a day. Oh boy, that game was hard to control. Ah, blah, blah, blah. I first played it um, with a keyboard. Oh my god. Because I wanted it when it was impossible to find for a decent price. Um... I don't know if that's still the case, but I got an emulator. Oh, oh thank you for somebody you followed. Thanks. Uh, that, the color was odd on that one. But yeah, I had to play with a keyboard because I didn't have any controller plugins. Jesus! And it was terrible. <laughs> and you know, he's drunk at the beginning, so that makes <laughs> it even harder. Nice. Boop. I like to think Fland likes to think that different color Goombas are different ranks in Bowser's army. They're different races. Oh, this one. I would have jumped and then not seen the turtles and been in trouble. Nice, you trapped him. Uh, that momentum got me. So God, Jesus can help us. <laughs> I won't, oh. Winder. I don't trust these guys. Look how they walk. They're just like... Mm -hmm. They're like... Mm. They're born to just fall. Born to be Goombas. That was a bad, bad joke. I wanted to stop that joke in the middle. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh my god, you almost fell in that spaghetti sauce. Oh, don't be amazed. It's a dangerous game! We were stopped. We stopped talking there. <laughs> I want to go back to playing Mario. Mario it's going to be so different. Mario 1. <laughs> The lava tiles, it's fun to watch them animated. They're all choreographed. Bowser's lava pits. Oh, wait. The third one didn't. Oh. Whoa. Bowser's fire breathing pattern is not random. I don't know what creepy pastas are. I just know that was that one with Majora's Mask in the haunted cartridge. Oh, crap. Oh. oh. Bastard blocks. What would happen if Toadette turned into a Goomba? Is that where Goombella came from? <laughs> Write a creepypasta about an actual Famicom exorcism. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that pixel touched me. You were so sad. Oh no. You sounded like Eeyore. I haven't thought of that name in a while. I bought a Winnie the Pooh book um, in my research for the children's book 
that I was editing. And God, Eeyore is so depressed, like clinically depressed, he needs to go on antidepressants. I don't think he's a good character to have in the Winnie the Pooh universe. Because he's like, mm. and everyone's like, oh, Eeyore. It's like, no, you need to get Eeyore some help. He's in trouble. Oh, man. Oh, this is a weird pattern. What man. imported systems I can't, do we have? Man, I can't find a good time. That RNG. You didn't pray to RNG Jesus. Nice. We have a Super Famicom. You just made a save state, didn't you? <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> uh, we have a Famicom. We have a Famicom disk system. We have a Japanese Sega Saturn. See? Yes! I did it legit. <laughs> my, uh, my... Uncle's Nintendo glitched real quick, so I had to I had to hit it, and that's what happened. Oh yeah, we have a Dendi. Oh, we got a Samurai. We're soon to have a Golden China. Yep. Golden. All these <laughs> stereotypes. Is it coming back? Okay. Man, it looks like you could just eat those mountains. I know. Yeah. They look like they, ice cream. They look ice cream. Okay, let's get ice cream. No. Aww. I did bring home a treat. Oh. Um, Carrie Fry is here and I died. And she uh, brought treats from the place that made those really good Buckeyes, but they're not Buckeyes. Oh. But they're like Easter candies. <laughs> Look at the princess. She doesn't care that I'm dying all the time. Ooh, Mario. I mean, Luigi. You're only Mario's brother. I don't care about you. What is a game Philip? What? Look like says we should get him a game Philip. A Philip CDI? What is a game axe? I don't know what any, any of these things are. <laughs> these mushrooms are far too fast. Oh, last life. Yep. Ain't no point in getting those, they're just coins. All right, are we done with this game for now? For now. All right. I say we're done for now. <sighs> All right. Are we going to USA? Switching to USA. Let's beat it. All right, here we are. We made it to World 6 yesterday. The pressure is on to beat it in an hour now. How distressed would we be if a Philips CDI appeared on our doorstep? I told you that um, a copy of The Room appeared in the mail. Like, what the heck? Oh, yeah. We need to watch that. <laughs> we have a copy of The Room. And it's autographed. So if you follow now, it will still get lives. I had to program it for each game. Planned mm. own two Felix CDIs in their life, and they had all sorts of experience with edutainment games before they had ever seen reviews of the Mario and Zelda games. Edutainment. I love edutainment games. They're great. Yep, life thing still works. Oh my god. I like this one better than Mario 2. Why did they give me that? Oh, what a troll. That's that heart made me big. Must 
take the shells. I wonder what that was originally. Cigarettes. Oh, it didn't bounce. No cigarettes. Touching the cactus. <laughs> I don't know, I'm guessing. Pokey! Oh man. Our pokey is growing very well. Pokey and picky. We should write down how many lives we in the stream. How many what? Oh. Lives up there. Yeah. I mean, I can check the old video. It's just I forgot to at the last minute. There's a game called I I am meme. Mean? <laughs> Thank you for following and giving us five lives. Jesus. It's a very religious game. Oh my god. So in Doki Doki Panic, those Koopa shells were originally borderline racist African tribal masks. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. So you gotta hit the bottom one, huh? I don't know where to take it though. I think this feels good to put it here. Getting out of here. This feels correct. Wrong. Oh no, there's two coming. Toot uncommon. Oh, Xeno Gears. There's two ways I pronounce King Tut's name. Like the the Egyptologists say Toot uncommon. But then his name becomes King Toot. Yeah, so because it's King Tut, I just call him Toot or Tut Ankh Amun. <laughs> That's his name. King Tut Amun. Tut Ankh Amun. Oh, I, I forgot I can stand on him. Duh. Because that makes perfect sense. Oh, the masks were blackface. Yikes. Does Fang Amor should sell those? No. <laughs> Fang Amor should sell turtle shells. We sell pipe mugs. And it's like a mug, but it's a Mario pipe. And I must say, we did that years before Think Geek came out with the weird looking pipe mug that they did that I heard it's not as good quality. Oh no, and it doesn't look very good either. Uh, I know a couple of people in the company got very mad. Yeah. But I was just like, yo, their mug looks stupid and then I moved on. <laughs> it feels like they got really corporate. Oh that's right. Didn't weren't they bought by Amazon, I think. Was it Amazon? Um, was it GameStop? King uh, Toot They got bought by someone. Hello, Popful Frost. So how many followers have we lost total, I wonder? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'll beat this level sometime. Maybe I should just stop using Mario. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna look at these Doki Doki Panics ones. Open a new tab. Oh no! Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's no good. Have we gained or lost followers? We, yeah, we had a couple people unfollow so they could refollow and give yeah. us some lives. Twitch is weird and sometimes we'll like lose followers for no reason. Like they just drop out, drop off of our list, you know, while we're not streaming. Mm -hmm. I think I've fallen off some streamer lists too. I only follow like four people. I am being so stupid. You want me to try? No, I need to not, not choose Mario. <laughs> oh. I, yeah. just, I just keep like choosing him out of muscle. You gotta peach this up. Accent. You gotta peach this level. She is now a verb. Peach it. Oh, you can't. You died. <laughs> Alright, we're getting the heck out of Pokeville. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Dumb quicksand. Doesn't this have like a, a pyramid at the end? I don't remember. I don't think. Ah. I definitely never got this far by myself at all. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you know, like how some there's a saying called cheese it, which means run or something. Yeah. Peach it. <laughs> Make it easier on yourself. Easy mode. Easy mode. That's the peach mode. <laughs> You don't even care about that. Oh crap! Frick! That potion. Yeah, I don't want to take it. Oh. Sins of Science plays each character in succession. That's interesting. Jesus, it's the fuzz! <laughs> In Jay Witz's streams, Peach It means rolling a one in Mario Party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're taking you, I don't know where. I'm gonna say right here would be good. Oh, I'm getting the heck out of here. Okay. <laughs> oh, or it might have been here. Oh, well. Oh no! That's all of them are in here. Oh, tricks. But now Peach, um, she Super digs slowly. slowly. Peach out. <laughs> The mushroom was above the door, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got an extra life. Nice. I didn't program it for that, so it didn't show up on the sidebar there. Because the, there were so few one-up items in the game, I didn't know where to find one. Getting the heck out of here. Oh, no, I can't get the There's heck out of key? here. There's a key? What? That's dumb. Get towed, I guess. I hope we start right. Yes. Can you go in all of these baskets? God, it could be anywhere. Yeah, it's probably gonna be one that you have to dig, though. I don't want to know which one it is, though. Imagine the chaos if Mario Maker lets you make <laughs> levels like this. So have they even announced the Smash Brothers for the Switch, or is it just like I don't think people's, you know, um, hopes? Oh, apparently there are Breath of the Wild amiibos. I didn't know are that. There? I don't know. That's what that's what Jenna said. <laughs> if she tells me something about an amiibo, I know it's true. Um. Jack was telling me what happened when he when they scanned every single one of their amiibos what into happened? Breath of the Wild. They just got a whole bunch of meat. <laughs> Can't go down that one. So it was just raining steaks on them. I guess that, the Fanta will be there. I think that was the one that I already did. Okay. Alright. I wish, uh, I hope Snake comes back into Smash Brothers, but now since who the heck knows what happened with Konami, I don't know what's gonna happen. But dang, what a bunch of garbage. Which Smash is probably going to be a port, really? Reminds me of how the Wii U had a lot of, like, remakes. And so there's the Fanto. If Fanto. you get... Oh, good. If you get a bow from an amiibo, does it break in Breath of the Wild? Because, yo, everything, everything I got breaks. Oh, 
Oh man, even that special bow breaks. Okay, but they last longer. Crap, stop shooting at me. I, I got past your traps. Heck yeah, the new Smash needs Opa Opa. Yeah, Bahamut, I agree. That's why <laughs> that's why I want to hear him talk about Cloud and Ludicolo or Lucario or whoever the heck. <sighs> you gonna start right back at the thing? I hope we start here. Good. I hope I don't have to start over if I lose a life here. Colo needs to be in Smash. Whew. <laughs> Amethyst Ross, you don't know Mado. <laughs> no way he would have done that. Go get one of the blocks on the left. We're in new territory now. Yep. Oh, we're only in 6-2. <laughs> What I really liked about um, this game compared to Mario 1 is um, that you could go back screens. Yeah. And also that you could stand on enemies and like not get hurt. I liked that. You're just on this dude's beak, basically. And he's carrying you. Trying to turn into like a shmup. Oh, these purple sand dunes are pretty nice. Aha! There was I'll a potion probably, there, probably. I'll probably regret that. This is a peach level for sure. There's no timer. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Sense of Science says that lack of a timer was hugely liberating when they first played this game. Ah. Darn it. <laughs> what? I'm surprised that doesn't trap it. I guess it jumps. Set for that. Uh, well, we started the. Probably. Oh, okay, because we got a game over. Poo! Nice Jeff Poo. <laughs> Only 90s kids. <laughs> I don't remember which pot the key was in, in that next part. Oh, I sort of have a vague idea. I don't like these snakes at all. Ah. Uh, want me to try? I want to get through this junk. <laughs> A lot of games I don't really care about the quicksand, but this is one where it's like, holy crap, it's mm -hmm. 
pretty pretty bad. Do you think they got the idea for quicksand from this game when they made Mario 3? Mm, not sure. Ah, I was hoping to make it. Hey. I I need to just get through here. Okay. <laughs> Many deaths are being had today. I like how she holds up her skirt to flow it. No, let me through. So she's slow. No. Now you be told. Told is naked. Why is told a thing? It's a very strange thing. It's the first time I ever uh, learned the word retainer. Yeah. In that sense. Then I, I learned it again when I played Final Fantasy VI. Because that dude is the retainer of Doma Castle. Oh man, I had a, a dream about that guy. And I was trying to, trying to say his name. And people were like, no, you're saying his name wrong. The Cyan. Oh yeah. Cyan Kyan, remember? I was always doing that. Cyan, come on. His name is a color of blue. It's whatever you want it to be because English. English language weird. It's can. I never considered that pronunciation. What's that, Basque? I can't click it when I'm streaming. Well, I could, but it would mess up my setup. Dang it, these mushrooms are dumb. I don't like how they, like, do that. I just want to get it, all of them over here. Oh, got it. Ah. Bew is playing Breath of the Wild through Hegan? Was he Whoa, again? that's crazy. That's the emulator. Oh. That's insane. Mero, I like to switch. I did not think I would care at all. It doesn't do much for me. It just feels like another system that didn't really need to happen. He's got Zelda. He's got the best Zelda since Wind Waker. Well, when Wii U has it too. Well, I never really liked the Wii U, honestly. I know. <laughs> I felt the same way about that, too. <laughs> I like the way the Switch does all its <laughs> weird stuff. <laughs> Mario Kart, no! <laughs> so what's the next level? Oh, is this? Oh, we need some follows. Please follow us quickly. <laughs> Only Mario Kart is Mario Kart 64. Oh, I thought that would be a potion. You have to carry it. Oh, actually, this is a little bit harder. Because <laughs> you can hang time. You got hang time there. I'm not gonna fall for that. I also didn't like Double Dash. I didn't feel like that was necessary. I liked it okay. The gimmick of the double thing was... I always messed it up, so <laughs> I never did it right.
You get a pumpkin. No, Flan, Tomato also loves that game. What game? Super Mario Kart. Super NES? Yeah. Yep. Oh! Oh, thanks for... Uh... Does it count? Oh no, it's too late. Ah! Too late. Well, actually, it would, it would kick in here in a couple seconds, maybe. The bubble came out of the stupid thing's mouth, like, right away. And you're dead. Well, maybe they'll get added on to these. My goal is just to get to the World 7 now. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like Mero is saying that everything that came after the SNES is superfluous and pointless. Uh, I don't think so. In 64, pretty great. Uh, I don't have very fond memories of that. Ah! Oh, yeah, we did yeah, it. Yeah. We got some more lives. Thanks, Mortal Pixel. I get to suffer nine times. I don't know. I, I think I'm probably not the only person who thought when the Wii U came out, it felt like it came out early. It was... Yeah. Um, like, didn't have a whole lot of games at the time. And I felt the name choice was... Very yeah, dumb because a lot was wrong with all of that. People who don't know video games like moms and grandmas, they're not gonna understand that the Wii U is a new system. They're just like, Oh, you already have a Wii. What are you talking about? <laughs> I also feel the same way about like um all these new systems I kinda feel the same way too. Like PlayStation four I was fine with three. I loved PlayStation three. It was it's probably my favorite console of the last, I, I don't know. It felt like the Xbox One years. came out just because it was like, okay, well, I guess it's been out for a while. We need to do another. Oh! Heck yeah, thank you! We got 10 lives that time because two people followed us. Thanks for following. I guess um, someone made the point that the Wii U is um, HD and and the Wii isn't, um, but I, I never felt like Nintendo games needed to be HD. Ah, well, that's for the best. But then Breath of the Wild... So, the Switch is good though. I'm liking it. Like, it's, hmm. Yeah, I'm liking it more than the Wii or the Wii U for sure. I need okay. to make it so when people follow me, I get a key. <laughs> One thing I didn't like about the Wii when it first came out was the motion oh, controls God. for no reason. Yeah. And it was that way for a long time. Yeah, and that's, oh no, that's why. Uh oh, <laughs> that's why I really appreciate the Switch because so far they haven't done that at all. They did that with DS too, like everything yeah. had to be touch. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, whatever. Oh no. Oh well. Yeah. Holy crap. You can stand up as Toad. You can stand up. No, I need to jump over there. Yeah, but you can still stand up and be um, flashing. Yeah, Switch is so good, translation, Breath of the Wild is so good. Don't forget about Vroom in the Night Sky. That's the only thing that I'm really liking so <laughs> far. I mean, Zelda's pretty good, but that's not a Switch-only thing. Yeah. No! I'm bad mouthing Nintendo here as I play Nintendo and write about Nintendo. Yeah, I know that, Basque. I just I don't know if Mado knows that. About how it has better stuff going on with it. No, Toad or like any character. If you if you 
push down and then you flash, you can stand up and you will still be flashing. Yeah. Well, it's, no, it's just a custom I like. Oh. Oh yeah, imports. That's another reason to buy the switch, and it's. Ah, uh, yeah. What was it? Not region locked. That's good. You have to go through some, through some crazy hoops to be able to buy funds, though. True, but it's not region locked. Which I think region locking is very, very dumb. I mean, smart from a business perspective, not smart if you want to have fans who like you. Oh, nice. You have a little barrier. No, I did it. Oh, oh crap. That was a cool trick. Waggle. If you guys play, do it that way. Waggle the sword is the up is jump of the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should uh, just hack every NES game, Super NES game, to use the Wiimote controls in some way. And that's the only way to play it. Oh, what? You can go through those blocks? Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, I guess that makes sense. That's why Birdo's fire was going through there. Yeah! Okay. Alright, we're caught, caught up with uh, Mario 2 again. <laughs> um, the Mario 2s are neck and neck. Let's go with this for now. Oh. oh, this. We're only here? Mm -hmm. We're oh. back here. Mido. <laughs> <laughs> I'm testing things. I had the lives to do some tests. So Flan says, complaining about motion controls in Mario Galaxy or the Wii Twilight Princess seems nitpicky. You can enjoy something even if you don't necessarily like one aspect. However, you know, that's true, but when I'm... it's controls, it's a comfort issue. And, like, when I play games, I like to, like, lay down and, like, have the controller here or anywhere. Usually I have it in my lap. And I'm just playing. But with the Wii, I always had to sit like this because I always had to waggle the controller and it was just not comfortable and not the way I like to play games so I haven't played Mario Galaxy since it came out Mario uh, Galaxy I but really I, enjoyed I, but I think you know I, as I recall those were really good controls those were good controls yeah Twilight Princess controls were shoehorned in because you know it was originally a Game Boy or a GameCube game and they made it Wii Oh yeah, <laughs> microphone. You can blow into it. Well, they had a speaker on it too, didn't it? Yeah, man. Some of the first DS games that came out though were really awesome because they really tried hard to put those new like gimmicky things to use. Good use. Um, a game that I super love, if none of you guys have played, is called Trace Memory. Ah. Um, it uses um, all the things that the DS, all the weird things the DS can do to solve puzzles, and it's really fun. There's this one puzzle where you have to solve it, I'm spoiling, by closing your DS and opening it back up. They have to stop doing they that. They don't allow that yeah. anymore, yeah, because it breaks, it breaks it. The, uh, the little hinges. Toad, 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 toad. Oh god, brain age. Twilight Princess was nearly a Game Boy. Originally a Game Boy game. Mind blown. <laughs> oh, I forget what the trick is for that. Elite Beat Agents? What's the trick to that? There's something about that. It's like going under here. I have no idea. I never got this far. Mario experts, let us know. Dominator solved that trick. One of the Zelda games had that. Solved it by accident by putting it into sleep mode. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, opened it up and it was solved. Oh. Nice! My first one in about 
12 years. I didn't play Elite Beat Agents. I think I played the demo. I, we had it for a while. Did we? All right, well, that's, that's what I must have played, but I didn't get far. What the heck? Oh. Are you in trouble? Can the bomb come back? I don't remember this. I hope. Oh. What? <laughs> that was weird. Oh, it's just a... They tricked me. I must not have done this level very much, because I don't remember this. <laughs> Fland has a high tolerance for dealing with slightly annoying things. <laughs> I wasn't fond of the Twilight Princess anyway, and then the mm -hmm. controls didn't help. Mm -mm. The great thing about Trace Memory is that they also didn't tell you that you could do this for um, solving puzzles. You just tried everything else, and like Dominator, you put it to sleep, <laughs> and then you opened it up, and hey, puzzle solved. I like those type of games. The games where you have to sleep on it. That's why I'm not, like, looking up anything for Breath of the Wild. Although I am doing schoolyard rumor type stuff at work. Oh. By, like, Jack described something that the um, camera can do in that game, and I had no idea. And then Laura overheard, she's like, I didn't know you could do that! And, like, I revealed something that you could do, and they're like, what? I didn't know that! So it's like mm -hmm. talking about it on the playground. Yeah, that's, like, such a good way to play games. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, because uh, Tony told us that you could make the dogs, like, um, show you secrets if you feed them three pieces of meat. And I had only fed them one piece of meat, and it rolled over on its belly, and then it chased its tail, and it was very cute, and I took a picture of it. But I didn't know it could show you secrets, now I'm gonna have to uh, feed them three pieces of meat. How did he find out? Did he hear it from someone else, or did he get a guide? I don't know. I hope, I'm just gonna think His that uncle. he, I'm just gonna say he discovered ah. it on its own to go with my... Playground Rumors experience. Mario. Okay, good. I don't remember this level at all. I must not go here very often in my life. Huge, uh, Rand's huge uh, problem with Twilight Princess was there is a huge world to explore, but you never got to explore it because of plot. Yeah. Where have I been in Breath of the Wild? Um, to like the first two main towns and then the fishing village. I'm not very far at all. I'm taking this at a super slow pace. It's really nice. Ah. One of the puzzles in Hotel Dust needed you to flick two switches on the screen at once. That's right. You had to go like that or something. Man, that drove me crazy. I couldn't figure that out forever. That's weird. Yeah. Oh no. Man, there's a lot of floating vines here. Now that I think about it, there's something like this in Mario RPG. I was wondering why there were so many weird floating vines. We're going to space. This reminds me of Mega Man 2. <laughs> oh no. Oh crap. I keep thinking though that the um that the switch is a oh, touch my screen. God. Oh, it's not? So I don't think it is, because sometimes I try to, like, hit yes or something. <laughs> it's like, oh, that doesn't work. I have to use the A button. Like gonna, old times. You're going to confuse the kiddos. <laughs> oh, okay. Dominator says, flicking both at the same time was the first thing I tried, but the DS isn't actually multi-touch, and it didn't quite work. So they spent like half an hour trying different things, yeah. That sucks. Well, Big Bears, we spoiled the puzzle for you, I'm sorry. But it's a really great game. I'm glad you're playing it. Looks like there's more over there. Okay, here's a boss. Only one? Oh, but also eggs. That's nice. No! Oh! Yeah. What is this crap? I wasn't, I wasn't going to be able to make that. Oh. oh, there's a heart, though. 
And I'll stick with Mario. He's our man. The Switch has a multi touch screen? Wait, it's a touch screen? Really? I didn't know. <laughs> I guess the two games I played on the Switch don't have that the capability. Room doesn't? I don't think so. I thought it used everything. It was like the well, most complicated game made. I've never played Room on the little screen, so I don't know. <laughs> nice. Now for the real boss. Legos. Is it Wart? Oh, it's Triclide again. Yeah, I played a little bit of the sequel um, last window. Um, I was borrowing it from Jammy, but then Jammy left and I had to give it back. I recommend it. It has a lot of the same feelings as Hotel Dusk. I liked it a lot. From what I played of it. You did it! We got to World 7! Yep. Do you need a break from games? What's a game? I'm just talking about hotel dusk and such. Oh no! <laughs> you can pause and quit that way, right? Like this? Yeah. Or yeah. did you not this mean This level, to... is, there's, there's, I think there's only 7-1 and 7-2. Really? I remember. Oh, but it's tough. Um, so what do you want to do now, Poe? Do you want to end it here? Do you think we could beat it? Uh, no. Okay. Then yeah. You saw how much trouble I was having with yeah. six. So, but we do need to go shopping anyway. Oh, that's right. Crap, we're like out of every every important food. Yep, so, uh... I don't know what happens if people follow us here. It might break the game. <laughs> oh, we should write down these, um... We should write down these deaths. Well, yeah. You can probably just get a screenshot or something. Or like a... Um, can you get it? Like on your phone? I don't have my phone. Oh. I mean, it's in my room. Okay, let me get this. Took a screenshot thingy there. Does every important food consist of pizza and chocolate? Pizza's on there. <laughs> right. I believe we saved. Yeah, I also did the save state. Okay. So 69.73. So we'll try to beat Mario USA tomorrow. And, uh... Well, thanks for following, Onicha. Maybe oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I close it. time. Close it, close it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. See if, uh... Come on. Um, so we'll try to beat Mario USA tomorrow. I have to probably look at some Nintendo powers because that last level is a weird maze. Um, and then we'll probably go back to Mario 1 or Mario 2. Yep. Mario 3 I really look forward to. Yeah, we're saving the best for last. Mm -hmm. um, on the Satella view, there was like, a, like some sort of Mario collection like this too. I don't know much about it. I think it had different levels or something. And, uh, but no one has been able to recover it. Really? Yeah, it's one of those sort of oh, like holy grails of crap. collecting. Well, do they have do they have anything like that saved in Nintendo at all? They probably do, but no one cares. Okay. It's probably like in some crazy closet. Dang. You know, I would get a job at Nintendo of Japan if I lived in Japan, just to like hunt mm -hmm. for that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me, the secret leaker. Yeah. So there was secret some, leaker. Yeah. Um, so name is taken. Do not steal. That's it for today from Sea Island. Uh, see you tomorrow at uh, some time. 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. Eastern, I mean 8 p.m. And please come shopping with us. No. Okay, don't come shopping with us. Although I, we do want to do something with Carrie Fry. I don't know if we can oh. stream on that day or not. Tomorrow? No, not tomorrow, but just like sometime. Yeah, well, she can come over. This whatever. week. Oh, okay. does she doesn't want to stream? If she wants to stream, she can. If she doesn't, then we don't have to stream that day. Okay. So whatever. She wants to do like park stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll stream from the park. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll do my sidebar stuff. All right, see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow probably because, yeah. Bye-bye. I got meetings tomorrow.